Welcome back to the Super Boxing League. And now coming up next, our final fight of the evening in the heavyweight division. Ashish Alavat for the Northeast Tigers takes on Parminder Singh for the Maratha Yodas. For the final introductions, let's go to Jared inside the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the heavyweight fight. Introducing first, Parminder Singh! Introducing from the Yodhas, a tough, tough policeman, Parminder Singh makes his debut here tonight, but comes in with a huge amateur record. He has got over 30 wins, more than five KOs, and is looking to equalize. The Maratha Yodhas have to get three points to draw here. If they draw, they will take the top spot on the table, but if they can get a knockout. They can completely steal the show. And his opponent, put your hands together for Ashish Halawa. Introducing back Ashish Halawa. Makes his way once again for the Northeast Tigers. A hard hitting, quick moving. Stick-in, jive-in, dancing fighter who took on Eva in his last matchup. It was a bit of a bizarre matchup. He hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. But that man was so tough, he didn't go out. Ashish Alavat here, we know he has knockout power and is looking to put this beyond the reach of the Yodha. Here we go to the tail of the tape. Ashish Alavat for the Tigers. Takes on Parminder Singh for the Yodhas. Ashish the younger, just 22 years of age. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight, and Parminder makes his debut here tonight. Fighting out of the black corner, he weighed in 92 kilograms, representing Maratha Yodhas, Parminder Singh! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in 92 kilograms, representing from the Northeast Tigers. Put your hands together for Ashish Halawa! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for this fight is Himancho! Keep head up, no low blow, no holding. Touch the gloves, back to the corner. Here we go. Final fight of the evening, heavyweight division. Parminder Singh taking on Ashish Alawat, who represents the Northeast Tigers. My name is Arjun Chipulkati. I'm joined by Jason Solomon. Jason, what a night of fights. The scores are 10 to 7. Anything can happen. If the Tigers win, it's, they take the top position. If the Yodas win, well, if the Yodas draw, they take the top position. Well, the heavyweights never fail to surprise us. Let's see if we can get a nice, brutal knockout here from one of these big boys tonight. It's Southpaw versus Orthodox. Once again, as Singh, who's representing the Yodas, and those are, that's the score. Nandal came away with the decision, got the three points, took the lead again, 10 to 7. Northeast Tigers leading by 10, Yudas at 7. The only way that the Yudas can come away with a victory here tonight is with a TKO or a knockout. Both fighters staying tentative. They know, oh, big, big left hook. And Ashish Alawat comes back with a good hook of his own. I like the fact that uh, Singh is, is quick, he's fast. He's got very good movement, he's got fast hands. And you can see there was a, there's a cut on Singh's head already. Was that due to a, a I don't think that's a cut, I think that's his uh, rubber band or some sort of band to tie his hair up. Uh, oh no, no, it's bleeding, you're yeah, right. It, it is, is a cut. Blood. There's blood, the that's I think why the that's ref was a, checking. I think that's a headbutt here. Or an elbow. Or could be, a, we need to see that in the replay if, to find out what exactly that was. Could be a headbutt, could be anything. Because you know, the way they're wading in, they're coming in, and it's very easy for a headbutt to occur. 
We've seen it happen twice in the heavyweight division. Yeah, and it, it seems to be something that plagues the heavyweights, is the head clashes. They need to keep their balance a little bit better. Oh, oh. very nice! Moving away, straight left. Alawat ate that shot, but he's firing back. And Singh immediately clinches. Minute 15 remaining, and he's bleeding out of his nose as well now. Aye. I think there's it's just some blood dripping down from the head, Arjun. I'm not too sure. No, and there's could some. Could be wrong. No, you know what? It's his nose is a bit red. You see, you can see that. You can look there. It's some separate blood coming out of that nose. No, I'm not looking at our screen. I'm looking directly at him, and it looks like it's blood dripping from the top of his head. That's what it looks like. Could be, but you know what? Good thing is that cuts right in the middle of those eyes. Yeah. It's not bleeding into the <laughs> eyes. That's actually quite lucky. It's going straight down the middle. Yeah. That's pretty lucky for him. Otherwise blood dripping in the eye makes it very hard to see yeah, very terrible. difficult to fight it's terrible it burns and it's very uncomfortable for the fighters but the fight continues nevertheless 30 seconds remaining in this opening frame will this fight go the distance time will tell i hope it doesn't i would like to see a knockout i'm sure the fans at home and the fans here at shreveport stadium in new delhi india would love to see a knockout Again. 20 seconds left here in this first round, the cut of the doesn't heavyweights. look too bad. A oh, very good movement by Singh. Snuck out of the way of that one and got a nice right hook. But Alawath has got a high guard. See, that's the way. He wades in, and Singh isn't moving out of the way. He's not cutting the corner, not cutting an angle. And I think that's how that that accident, the headbutt, might have occurred. Let's see if we can see that in the highlights somehow. Because apparently Singh has got some sort of injury or cut on the top right. of his head. Let's look at it here. He seems fine here. I think in one of the one of those exchanges, you can see he's bleeding Already. immediately there. Yeah. I think it must have been, like you said, an elbow or something. Yeah, it could be a number of things. Elbow, a headbutt. Yeah. All unintentional, of course. Yeah. The crew of the Super Boxing League having fun tonight. Yeah. And now, quickly, let's go to shop.com. S-H-O-W-T, shout yes or shout no to cheer a boo for any of the Super Boxing League fighters and team. It takes just a few seconds to start, no registration required, so get to shouting. Yeah, we look at the corner now, they're doing a good job of repairing the cut, it's not that big, it doesn't look that bad as we get ready for round number two. Yeah, it's a minor injury, nothing major. Yeah, and you can see his nose as well, though I feel it's, it could be the head, but time will tell. Let's see what happens in the second round now. Nice big swing and a miss. And Alawat pressing the action. Alawat pressing the action and Singh. Yeah, Alawat knows he's got the fight in his favor. Oh, oh. look at that. That was no. a push. Big heavy hands by Singh. He's looking to take Alawat's head off. Nice jab. Is that Southpaw? That was a slip. A little more than two minutes on, in the second round. Good body shot and left straight left hook combination. Alawat is a tough, tough fighter. He's a gamer, that's for sure. Oh, big left, straight left. Man, oh man, these guys are swinging for the fences. Yeah, he just landed a big shot that Singh as he turned the corner. I like Alawat trapped up against the ring. The ropes. I like I like how Singh is moving. He's constantly cutting corners and angles. He's not staying straight. Whereas, uh, sorry, Singh is not staying straight. And whereas Alawat is coming in straight. See, there you go. And maybe that's how that accident happened. Yeah, that's twice they've come close to clashing their heads. They need yep. to be careful about that. And Singh looking the sharper of the two boxers. Putting on a good show is Singh here, but allow it no Singh. slouch. Yeah, but again, he's heading straight in. And Singh is trying to turn the corner as soon as he comes in, looking to counter. Definitely, I agree with you, Arjun. It's happened over and over again throughout the course of this fight. Very nice one, two by Singh. And oh, oh wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Wow, was that a slip? It's a slip slash knockdown. I don't know, he looked like he got hit. I, I think can, the, ref can see a a slip. the ref's going to call it a slip. The going to call a slip. Yeah, I think that was a slip. It was not a knockdown. There was no count. So that's all right. Less than a minute remaining in this round two. 
Both these fighters pressing the action. But you know what? You might be right. That was a combination of a knockdown and a slip because Singh is looking a little fatigued. He's looking a little out of it here after that exchange. And now that's giving Alawa time to press the action. But Alawa should not allow Singh to recover. He should push the pace. If he feels his opponent is hurt or injured, he should want to go in and try to finish the fight. Very, right, very true because but you know, at the, on the same hand, uh, Alawat could be looking to just, you know, do... Oh, oh nice. Huge spade right. That, yeah. that hurt him. He's got 10 seconds to end this. But you know what? I feel Singh is going to be saved by the bell. And the referee as well. He steps in to break them up. Oh, man. That, was, that, that counter rocked him. There it is. Oh, end of the round. End of round two. And that was a great round. We'll take a look at the replay of the end of the round. But that will weigh heavily in the judges' minds. That was Singh coming over with some beautiful left and rights. Got him coming in, but Alawa took control later as the round went on. Landed some good combinations of his own. Now that was that slip there. Was that a knockdown or a slip? We'll find out. We'll take a look at the replay. He ducked under and his hand got trapped. That was definitely a slip. But at the end of the round, he land Alawa landed a beautiful straight right counter. It staggered Singh. And you can see the stick, you can see in the corner of Singh, they're tending to that cut. They're just getting ready for this round to get started. What great action inside the Super Boxing League as we get ready for round three. You can see immediately Singh might still be hurt from the previous round because he's moving differently. He's not moving as brightly as he was in the first two rounds. Yep, let's see if he can survive this round. Let's see what adapt, adaptions he's made, changes he's made in his game plan. See if he can change it up a little bit here. And if you look at the scorecard again, the score 10 to 7 in favor of the Northeast Tigers. Yep, right now, if the Northeast Tigers can win this fight, they will take the pole position. But if, if, but if the Yodas can even come back and draw it by virtue of having two knockouts in this tournament, they will take pole position. Alawat right. now going to work in the corner. We still have one more fight to go. One more round to go as well in this fight to see who will take that coveted pole position. Both Alawat and Singh, the pace is slowed down. Good body work here. Alawat though, faster hands. And some good strikes. He looks like the sharper puncher. Yep. More crisp, throwing together some better combinations and landing well. Pace has certainly slowed down. As Alawat is looking to press the action here. Again comes in with a nice jab, good combination. Alawat is looking to end this fight. Yes indeed, he wants to put this fight away with a knockout. Give his team those nice six points to give them a nice lead, a nice cushion with the point differential, which will take them to the top of the pole and determine who they face next in the semifinal. But you know what? What an interesting night with Deepak Thunberg coming in and getting those six huge points. That was all, that was the game changer here. But you know what? There's still rock time in this fight. And Alawat is looking to fire back and look for that stoppage. Let's see if Singh can change it up. Less than a minute to go in this third round. Singh was doing really well in the first few minutes of the first round, but ever since then it's been all a wahad. That's a slip. A lot of blood dripping now in the face now of Singh. Yeah, that can be annoying because you can see his nose is getting covered in that blood. I wonder if the ref is going to step in and maybe have to take a look at that. I, oh, again, a nice combination. And you know Singh might be hurt here. You can see him breathing out of his mouth. He's not, he's, he's not even evading. He's just got his hands up. He's letting himself get countered, cornered. In fact, Alava trying to push him off with just 20 seconds remaining in this round. Yes, it's been an exciting round. All in the favor of Wahad so far. Last Blood. two rounds, I would say. Yes, definitely, definitely. Last few seconds of this third round. Referee steps in the break. Action begins in the ring and the round is over. Yeah, we're gonna go into the fourth and final round. 
as both these warriors are putting everything on the line. Let's take a quick look at the highlights of the last round. What a great fight we've had so far. Look at that. Singh comes out, opens up strong. Good head movement initially. But Alavat rallies back. Lands some good combinations. And I think he just started to take over after the first minute mark. He started landing those cleaner combinations. He got into range. But you know what? Singh is still in it. That was a slip again. He fell down backwards, but he was landing some good combos of his own. We wonder how the judges are going to score that one. It's going to be an interesting round to score, an interesting fight to score. Looking forward to the action here in the fourth and final round. But like they say, it ain't over to the fat lady sing. Here we go, round number four. If you're just joining us, Alawat in the green. Singh in the white for the Yodhas. And it's been an interesting night of fight so far. Who will take that pole position? It all comes down to this last round. Let's see how the action unfolds here in the center of the ring. Awad putting some nice body shots in there. I think Alawat Skorner feels that they might have done enough to just stick and move. Nice, stiff, straight coming out of that exchange. Awad landing flush. Great movement by Singh. He seems to have recovered a little bit. Yes. But you know that blood flowing down your face can certainly get annoying and hamper your entire game plan. This can be very distracting and mentally also can mess with you. You see that much blood, it makes you wonder how you're doing. But uh, Singh showing no sign of slowing oh, down. Oh, that was a huge straight left. Yep, ducks his head off the center line, hits him with a nice straight left. Again comes over with that right, good body shot. Well done, Singh is now. You know what, Singh might be pulling it back in this round. Yep, he knows he's got it all on the line right here. His team is down, they're trailing. If they don't get the win here, they'll still make it through the quarterfinals, but uh, it'll determine who they fight in the fourth quarterfinals. Big dig to the body there earlier by Alavat, but Singh is looking like the sharper fighter. Ref's warning Singh and telling him not to hold. And again, look at those scores, 10 to seven. It's so close down to the wire. It's still anyone's game at this point. If and you know what, I thought Alawat was leading till the fourth round started because Singh is looking like the sharper fighter. It's going to be a nightmare for the judges to score. Well, Singh is doing a lot better here in this fourth round. He is definitely landing a lot more shots, but al Wahat is still pressed. Ooh, nice left hook. Catches al Wahat slipping the wrong way. Beautiful left hook. I like how he's thinking. I, I love, you know what, I would love to have seen if that cut hadn't happened, how this fight would have turned out. I really don't think that cut is hampering him too much. The, the ref just stopped and looked at it for a couple seconds. And it's in such a place where it's really not going into the eye too much. I can see maybe a few specks of blood going into the yeah. eye, but not like oh, dramatically nice. dripping into the eye where he can't see clearly. Very nice counters by Singh here. You know what, Singh is, is definitely turning it up in this fourth round. Alavat might be walking him down here. Oh, big, big counter by Alavat. Singh is still in it, but he can't let himself get cornered on the ropes here. We've got a little over 20 seconds. Oh, elbow, warning of an elbow. And the little referee bit. is all over the action. What a great job by these refs. And good counters by Singh. Yeah, great job by the referees today. All of them have been spot on. Good Again, fight today as well. Oh, beautiful Ooh. uppercut by Singh. Yep. And both these men are going at it. What a chin on these boys. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Singh is definitely, oh, that's it. What a round. Wow, great Over round. faster than I expected. Great round. Yep. Great round and what great action. But you know what, before we come back with the scores, let's quickly go for a quick commercial break. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.
हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज रुपिंदर पाल सिंह एंड आई एम कमिंग टू डे टू वॉच सुपर बॉक्सिंग लीग एट सीरी फोर न्यू डेली ज्वाइन एस रिंग साइड और कैच सम लाइव बॉक्सिंग एक्शन ऑन सोनी ई एस पी एन सेवन पी एम ऑनवर्ड्स आई विश अमीर खान एंड बिल दुसान Welcome back to the Super Boxing League and before we continue let's quickly go to the ring with Jared for the results. Ladies and gentlemen, after 4 rounds, we hold the score card declaring the winner a draw 1-1. That means the Northeast Tigers have won today's bout, 11 points to eight. What a great fight night! We got two draws, which now brings the Northeast Tigers 